It's time to install the bob stay. I've got this all masked off. This is all masked off. Got my Sika 291. Just goop it up. I think this is the last hole in the boat that I need to actually seal up. Now I just got to line up the bolts. And then go inside and tighten them up. I actually have to push this bolt out. Hopefully lose them down below. Yep, there they go. God dang. Alright, well, I'll go get that one. So I can put the nut and washer on the bottom. Now the center bolt. Now I gotta go back downstairs and pop that thing in. Very good. It didn't fall all the way out. Oh yeah, this is gonna work nice. Push it back in. Tighten everything up. Alright, cross one more item off the list. Bootstripes painted, bobstay fitting is installed. Now I just gotta make the new bobstay wire. I got a pin to pin length of uh, 90 and a quarter, I think, or 90 and a half. It's 3 8 wire. I got a couple of feet of that. Hain high mod fittings. If you haven't seen these uh, installed, we did all of our standing rigging. You can go back and check out that video. But they're just compression fittings. It's like a stay lock or a uh, Norseman fitting. But I like the high mods because you don't use sealant and they're serviceable and inspectable. It's got a wire cone that forms over the outer strands with the core strands coming through the middle. It's one by 19 wire. Pretty simple. You just put Loctite on the threads and uh, slap it together. And then I got the unchromed bronze turnbuckle for up near the top of the bowsprit. This is the water. This is the fitting that goes at the water line. Where the uh, where the bronze bobstay fitting goes. Open this thing up, cut the wire to length, install a couple of fittings, and then hang that thing. And I can retension the rig. So you just open up the wire and unlay the strands. This is the fun part because these are all pokey and snaggy. Concave side. Use the built-in depth indicator right there. That's how much needs to be sticking out. Ta-da! Now we just go hand tight only, just to test it. Get everything seated in. Don't go too far, because these things will gall. I had one gall on me, and it was like, that was a small wire one, and it was like 80 bucks. Hand tight plus a half a turn. For layout purposes, uh, I stuck a screw down there with the installed toggle and made a mark at 90 and a quarter. I just got to lay it back from here. Kind of approximated where I want the turnbuckle to sit, so I put red tape on it so that when I wind it back up, I'll have to open it up to get the pins in, and then I tighten it back down. It should end up right about here with enough gap in the turnbuckle so that they don't bottom out. And then I'm just going to unscrew this out of the turnbuckle to make it a little easier to work with. There we go. Beautiful. And it is starting to sprinkle. Uh, I didn't cut this too, too long. So I'm at my red tape now. There we go. Finally got that back on the boat. Now I can go back and reset all the rig tension, take off the inner force stay, uh, release, release some of that tension, get rid of that halyard, tighten up the back stay, which will tighten up the head stay. Put some cotter pins in and we're good. Are we doing a wet installation or a dry? What do they recommend for wet? They have, they have either one. Well, I guess we should have waited. We should have read the instructions before we hit the record button. <laughs> and it says measure from the first to the last letter and put a piece of tape down the middle. Right. Maybe. That's real old name this boat. I can hold this while you cut you it. Don't peel it so sharp. Pull it more out like that. There you go. Behind my head? Yeah, exactly. The most inconvenient and uncomfortable. I know. Gotta hold it. Shut up. Easier than in the water. Oh, I did this in the slip the last yeah, time. We laying down. I guess it says do not, do not pull the tape away from the graphic at 90 degree angle. It doesn't say what angle to do it at, it just says don't do it at 90. 
Do you want the exacto? Thanks for the heads up. Ten foot rule. Yeah. We're approaching the twenty foot rule. Ah, damn. With everything else that's wrong. I just this is actually a crack in the hole. This is I one saw of that. Yeah, I was marks. like, this one's messed up, but I think that is a it is. Yeah. It's the crack mark there. I like it. it looks alright actually. Yeah. Seems fairly level. Yeah. Like on the lines. So I think with this one. Only do the middle? Yeah. Make sure that thing touches down. This one went on a lot better. I think that's the Are you sure? Ugh. Are you doubting me? I don't know. It looks the same to me. The same. other one. I thought the other one went on really well, and then you peeled it, and it didn't. It looked horrible. Yeah. It didn't look horrible. You get what you pay for. How much are we paying you? Oh, you want to see how it looks? Yes. A little I bit got of, my technique down. A little bit of bubble right there. I don't be tickling or nothing. <sighs> <laughs> What? You're a dork? <laughs> <laughs>